I would love you to talk about the genesis of Cheryl, who is my personal favorite anti-hero of the year. Um, right. Okay, well, so I don't have a, um, a, you know, it's many different little kernels of things over the years. Uh, so it would be weighting it too heavily to say this is the genesis, but it is definitely a, a little seed of it. Um, I did this, um, my second, you know those like 10 day silent meditation retreats? Mm -hmm. um, I did more than one of those. Um, and uh, It's literally my worst nightmare, I'm so impressed. <laughs> Um, it was during a time in my life when I didn't realize that like I was already so self-disciplined that I needed like the opposite of that. Like you, you know? needed like a like, 10 day like talking your butt off. Routine. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so I was at one of those and the woman in front of me um, had like short gray hair and we all were wearing like black kind of like, you know, sweatpants, whatever. Um, and I just... I just got so obsessed with this, this butch woman. I was just like, oh, our sex was intense every, every <laughs> minute of that retreat. And, and it was just building and building. And, um, and I was like, oh my God, at the end, we're gonna get to talk, you know, and I'm gonna get to hear what her voice sounds like and we're gonna be in our regular clothes. And like, I don't know if it's mutual because we're not allowed to even make eye contact. Um, <laughs> uh, you hadn't even yeah, smiled at each other. No, no, but I was, I was staring at her neck a lot. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I was also like, had a boyfriend. It was conf a confusing time for me. Um, and like, were you attracted to her, with, like, with an edge of repulsion, or were you straight oh, up attracted no, no, to no. her? Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted, like, her fingers, like, in me. Like, I, <laughs> I, like, I fully, like, had Loved gone it. off the edge. Yeah. yeah I was just, because, and she was this, like, powerful butch woman who just was, like, very good at meditating, I could tell. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and, uh, and then it was... It was the last day, you know, and um, here we were, and like she walked out of this room, and, and she, we had all changed into our normal clothes, and she was wearing like a pink sweatshirt with like an applique um, design, and they and these, you know, kind of like mom pants and and some like white tennies, and she just like hopped into a minivan with her husband. <laughs> So it was like and, total misread. Yeah, complete. And I was like, I mean, I was heartbroken. There were so many emotions at <laughs> once. <laughs> you, you know, it was like, she's mine, but I don't want her now. <laughs> like, I, uh, and, um, and I think that was like the kernel of how if you wanted it badly enough, you could, you could completely misread someone as a lesbian. I mean, that that's sort of reduces a whole lot of stuff going on in the book, but it was like a little seed of like, is that mistake possible? Um, it's also like if you want it badly enough, you can mistake anyone for someone you could love. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, yeah, that is in the book. A lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And then did she, and then it's really, we can all agree that's the best story we've ever heard. I sh I'm going to make a confession here that I told this, I only, um, I only was told this, Carrie Brownstein just reminded me that I had already told her that story years ago and they made a Portlandia episode about it. <laughs> I don't, wait, I do remember that. Yeah, there's a meditation retreat. Yes. And she, it's incredible. I think I watched the whole episode and was like, that happened to me. <laughs> And she was like, yeah, we got that from you. Like, <laughs> That's amazing.